Welcome back. In this course, we shall talk about nav bars in Bootstrap. Before we create a navigation bar, let me say, in Bootstrap, when it comes to creating things like forms, cards, nav bars, and shadows, you don't need to know these things from the top of your head when starting. Visit the Bootstrap website. Let's say I want a form. Just come here and say forms. So these are the templates of forms you have on our Bootstrap website. So let's say I want this form. For example, all I have to do is copy the whole code here, head over to my VS code and paste it. When I save this, I refresh my page and I have the form right here, first name and last name. If I want this other form here and if I want this form I can come here click on copy go to my VS code and paste it right here let's save that let's refresh my page to see what we have as you can see I have a whole fields right here what you can do is come to your VS code and edit all of the things you want to edit. So to create a navigation bar using Bootstrap, we will head over to the website and select a nav bar template we will love to work with. And in my case, I'll just come here, say nav bar. And you can go ahead and scroll down to select what you want. I love working with this. It's responsive also. Click on copy to copy that. So let's come over here. Let's get rid of this form. The nav bar in most websites is always the first thing we do. So we can place that in a header section or you can place that in a section or you can just paste it and fix the indentation here and let's go back to our browser refresh to see what we have we have a nav bar right here so let's get back to our code and let's get rid of this and let's say we don't want this and we don't want this also now let's save this go back to our browser to see what we have let's refresh to see what we have as you can see we just have features and pricing now to change the background color of our navigation bar let's come over here currently it's set to bg light background light so let's say background info or you can use a styling attribute after getting rid of that. You can say style. You can say background color. You can say blue. Save that. Let's go back to our browser and see what we have. It's now blue. So we can change the text here to white by just coming in the nav links and in that class, we say text white the text white that's going to change every text value there to white so you can see it's now appearing in a white format so heading back to our VS code we can set this to MLLG auto ML stands for margin left LG stands for large then auto so let's do that you can see it's now aligned to the right side of the page. Now let's view this in a mobile screen to see how responsive it is. Let's say, as we can see right here, by the top right corner of our page, we have a toggler. When you click on it, 
it collapses and you have the features and the pricing. When you click on it, it closes. And we achieve this without writing any CSS code at all. We achieve this just using Bootstrap. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share. Thank you very much.